Yogis, welcome to your Maya flow with me today. Today's practice is Vayu moves and we're working with the element of air. Now when we work with our elements, our five elements, each of those elements has a correlating uh, symbolic pressure point upon our fingertips and we've been working through each of the elements and this week we found our way to Vayu which is the pressure point upon the tip of our index finger. So we are going to begin in a standing posture. You won't need any props for today's practice. You'll just need space. And I want to mentally prepare you for those Vata energies out there. If you are a, um, an individual who's led by one of the um, elements of air, and then ether is a part of that as well, space and air, these people tend to, and you'll know if this is you, <laughs> get caught up a little in their head. They often experience anxiety. They tend to overthink things. And so the more prepared you are, hopefully, the better. It wouldn't be an air practice without us getting upside down and getting out of our heads by working with some balance without an inversion. So we are going to be, yes, it's still flow, but we are going to be working with a peak posture today of tripod headstand. Now it's one of my favorite inversions and I feel it's the one of the best ones to begin with, but do be aware that you're supporting via the upper body and also resting on the top of the head. So if there's any neck issues or injuries Injuries, then feel free to still join us, tip upside down, get into position, make contact with the crown, but you won't be loading with us today. If there's no injuries or um, issues already there, then there shouldn't be as you support and take the load through the strength of the upper body. And I'll guide you through that once we get to it. So Tripod headstand, the Sanskrit term um, or name for that one is Mukta Hasta Shirshasana. Mukta Hasta Shirshasana. And so we're going to build into that and we'll begin standing. You can find yourself stripped of any socks or jumpers as we'll get warm fairly straight up. We're going to find ourselves at the towards the top of the mat. You want to be about a foot's distance back and find the feet shoulder width apart. Embed the big toes into the mat and spread the other toes nice and wide. Now the element of air or vayu in Sanskrit, the primary organ for that sensation is the skin. So we want to be feeling the contact points beneath the tips of our toes, beneath our soles and checking in with our positioning and direction of Vata. So finding yourself evenly balanced and initially just notice as you come to your Tadasana, whether you are loading more into the toes or into the heels and settle in and reset your Vata, your air, your space, your balance, your load over that midpoint. Notice whether your ankles might be rolling in or rolling out and if you can feel more load on the outer blades or if you feel like you're collapsing into the arches then again take a little inversion eversion roll in roll out and find center point let's find ourselves light and lifted from that balanced contact point beneath the soles of our feet and lift out of the feet out of the earth lift and become soft through the knees the pelvis find neutral spine no need to contract or draw the navel. We want to remain nice and soft and spacious through the low belly. No need to hold the belly in here. <laughs> Let's take a roll of the shoulders. Take it forwards and backwards. Notice whether you're more loaded toward the front body or the back body. And aim to find balance. And Vata is all about balance for if we're too grounded and too low in the energy of vata then we feel very sluggish and heavy and if there's too much vata then we're all up in our heads and we're working 100 miles an hour and there are a million thoughts running through our mind it's important to find balance and let's connect to that balance today via our bayou 
mudra, taking the index finger and press it into the palm of the hand, wrap the thumb around that midpoint and leave the remaining three fingers extended. And from our mountain pose, we take just two breaths. Vayu is the second element. So we're working with the numerology and the energy of two today, which is a beautiful feminine, soft energy. It's fluid, it's flowy, just like the gentle breeze of Vata and Vayu when in balance. Yogis gently blink open the eyes and we're going to take a sweep of the arms. Today we're working toward the front of the room and as you sweep overhead, take the gaze and gently open through the chest. As you exhale, we're softening through the knees, the pelvis and pouring forwards and sending the arms to the back of the room. Maintaining that Vayu Mudra, inhale, sweep, soft through the knees feeling like a fresh breeze and blowing your physical body and flowing with that wind, not against it, but we're riding the curve today with our postures. Exhale. No kumbhaka today, no breath retention at the beginning or the end. We'll take two more rounds here. Softly releasing through the back body, the pelvis, Finding an opening through the chest. Exhale, sweep to the back of the room. And this time as you inhale and draw to rise, we're going to take a pause here. Release out of our Vayu Mudra and divide the arms. Drawing the left arm forwards, the right arm back. Find the right hand upon the back of the pelvis. Take the left to the sky, gentle spinal twist. As you exhale, softly bend, guiding that left hand all the way down to the center point on the mat and connect your fingertips. Right arm releases to the sky and we're going to take a deep bend in the left knee. So you're allowed here to really settle in and soften into that right hip with that deep bend through the left, allowing the pelvis to pop and assisting in that gentle spinal twist, rewinding where we came from, releasing out of the left hand, right hand to the pelvis, left to the sky, gentle back bend. As you exhale, windmill, right hand to release as well, come back to that Vayu Mudra, index finger to palm, thumb completing the seal, inhale, sweep. Two rounds, exhale soft through the knees, pouring forwards, sweeping on the wind, inhale, rise, take a pause, divided energy, right arm, pause forwards, release the Vayu Mudra, left hand to the pelvis, right hand to the sky, gentle back bend. As you exhale and softly bend through the knees, the right fingertips to the mat, midpoint. Gaze over the left shoulder and find the left fingertips to the sky. Deep bend through the right knee to assist in that spinal twist. And we stay two breaths. When we work with the energy of two, we're working with the energy of the moon. One more breath here. It's a soft drawing inhale and a soft exhale and then sweep to rise. Find length through both legs, left hand to the hips, right to the sky. Exhale, windmill both hands and come back to your Vayu Mudra. Inhale, sweep to rise. Softly opening through the chest and the throat, the area of the body that's primarily receptive to our Vayu is the heart and the throat, our channels and our midpoint for Vayu and our postures today. They're going to be working in that area. Inhale open. And this time releasing both hands and taking the palms to the pelvis. Draw the elbows back open through the heart. And if you feel comfortable already and nice and loose through the back and the neck, open the throat, drawing into our deep back bend. 
And this time as you exhale, hands will stay on the hips and we'll pour all the way forwards here. Hands connect, interlace the fingers and open through the shoulders as you hang forwards. Hanging the head nice and heavy. We're going to shake out the neck, yes and no. Releasing through the cervical spine. My cord's in the way. <laughs> and finding some space, some air between the vertebrae. Maintaining that connection or that interlacing with the hands, we inhale and draw to rise. Sending that interlacing down the back body. One final back bend here standing. And this time as you exhale and pour forwards. We release hands overhead, release the interlacing and place the fingertips upon the mat. Let's step it back with the right, dropping all the way to the back of the mat. A little pulsing sensation, creating some space and inviting Vayu into that right hip as you pulse. And we're not staying here for long today. You're going to be settling into your runner's lunge and then draw the left arm inside that left foot. We're going to rotate that back foot to settle in onto the sole of the foot. Now right hand sweeps overhead, drawing all the way of a big circular motion to find a long line and a beautiful side body stretch through the right side. Stay two breaths and draw to rotate to gaze beneath that right side. So beautiful. Reverse that cycle. Right arm sweeps to the back of the room, finding yourself framing left foot once more. Step it in. Come to our Vayu Mudra. Inhale, sweep to rise. Two rounds. Send it to the back of the room. Coming back with our resetting breath in between each round and each posture today to that beautiful, soft, feminine energy of Vayu. When in balance, one more round here. Exhale, sweep. Take it overhead, interlace. Find length through the legs and open through the chest and shoulders. Inhale, draw to rise, maintain the interlacing. Run the hands down the back of the legs, open the chest and the throat. Exhale, slowly pour forwards. Release the interlacing. Fingertips to the mat and we halfway lift, finding length through the legs. Let's step it back with the left. Resetting the hands to frame that right foot and invite and activate the value into your left hip. A little pulsing sensation, finding some movement here. Vayu, the power, the element of air, represents the capacity for motion and kinetic energy. So the potential that resides here in the hip. Right hand inside that right foot, rotate the left to flatten out through the heel, loading into that right hand evenly between the hand and both feet. Circle the left arm overhead and find your extended side angle. Two breaths, gazing under the left armpit, we sink into the hips, aiming for that beautiful long line and channel of energy. A Vayu to travel, to open through side body, reset left hand sweeps behind us and draw the hips to center and step it all the way in. Vayu Mudra, inhale, we rise, just the two breaths, exhale, we fly on the wind, inhale, open the chest, the throat. Exhale, fold through. And this time as you inhale, we're going to put that together and allow that divide to take place once more. Left arm sweeps forward, right hand to the pelvis, left to the sky, spinal twist. 
Exhale, left fingertips to the floor, deep bend, left knee, gazing over the right shoulder. All right, fingertips to the sky. Stay for your twist, stacking the shoulders, just two breaths. Inhale on the rise, windmilling the hands. All right, hand to the back of the pelvis once more. Collecting the right side, sweeping Vayu Mudra, inhale. Exhale, nice and soft. And when the Vayu is out of balance and we feel really heavy and sluggish within the joints, we find restricted range of motion. Pause and divide, spinal twist, right arm forwards, left arm and hand to the pelvis. Inhale, we rise. Exhale, deep bend, right knee, right fingertips to the mat. Gaze over that left shoulder. Left fingertips to the sky, stacking the shoulders. Stay two breaths. And coming back to that beautiful, soft, flowing breath, we inhale to rise. Find length through both legs, left hand to the hip. Exhale, Vayu Mudra, we sweep. And two rounds of flow. And the inhale, we rise. And coming back to our floor postures, exhale, pour forwards, interlace the hands overhead. Find length through the legs and open through the chest and shoulders. And this time with that interlacing, draw the palms together, finding that release through the head, neck and shoulders. We'll take it to stand for the last time, sliding that interlacing down the back body as you open deeply into your back bend. Exhale, pour forwards, hands overhead, release the interlacing fingertips to the mat and we're going to step it back with that right foot once more now you've taken this once and we're fairly soft through the hips already so we'll set it up one breath exhale sink down into your runner's lunge nice strong back leg left hand inside the left foot Rotate that back foot, allow the sole to meet. Spiral overhead, left hand. Just the one breath this time to set up your side angle. And as you exhale and draw back with your right hand to circle in front, we're going to collect the left and draw to rise and find a warrior two. Two breaths to settle in. It's our first strong standing posture. Exhale, sink in. Softening into that hip and opening that left knee. And yogis from here, both palms flip to the sky. And we're going to find length through that left leg and rotate the left heel. So both feet have outer blades aligned with the outer edges of the mat. And with the palms to the sky, we draw nice and high. Interlace once more, open the chest and the shoulders. And this time as you release, we're swan diving down to our prasarita, padottanasana. First prasarita setting up to invite the vayu. We want space for the belly. We want air to breathe. As you take a walk forwards with the hands, find the load divided evenly between the feet and the hands. Notice whether you're rocking back into the feet or hanging into the hands and find the palms upon the mat. Let's hang the head heavy and it should feel like a wide like a down dog here, this one. Let's take a little release through the hips, slowly rocking into the left hip and into the right as you gaze beneath each shoulder, each armpit. <laughs> And find yourself centered, sliding the hands back in all the way so that the heel of the hands is in alignment with the heel of your feet. <laughs> From here, yogis, we're heading straight into our peak posture. So feel free to take this one nice and slow. And remember, there's stages and we can progress through bit by bit. From here, 
with the heels aligned with the heels of your feet. You're going to be slowly bending at the elbows and drawing down for the top of the head to connect to the mat. Now for today, there's two variations we're going to take. And the first variation is an alternating variation, lifting just one foot and then the other. So your first round with the crown connected to the mat, maybe you stay here or if you feel comfortable, we're going to rock the weight into the hands and get nice and light through the feet, pressing the heels away from the mat and just drawing into the balls of the feet and the tips of the toes. Now from here, we're going to be taking one knee at a time to draw onto the elbow maybe one and then the other. Now it's gonna feel like crow pose for if you were to drop back into the hands and lift out of the head, you would in fact be in crow and it's a beautiful transition from crow into tripod. But for today, you might simply be pausing here for option one. And if you feel okay here and that's enough, then we stay. Otherwise, maybe you draw the knees in and take an extension to draw into your tripod headstand. Slowly drawing the knees back if you took the elevation and the lift and find the knees back on the elbows. Extend the legs, allow them to meet the mat and slowly draw to rise. That reset that we took prior, we take the hands to walk forwards, shoulder width apart. Sink down into the heart. <sighs> Maybe allowing the forehead to rest upon the mat. We settle here. Slowly sliding the hands back in beneath you, lifting out of the belly and taking that left foot to rotate towards the back of the room once more. Deep bend into the left knee as you focus on shifting that energy around to frame the left foot. Rotate the back foot. We're going to drop into that right knee and rock it back for a Hanumanasana. Inhale space for the belly. Exhale, fold and fall. Taking a ripple here, and you can stay in your Ardha Hanumanasa and your half Hanuman, or feel free if you've been working on your full Hanuman to slide forwards and take your ripple through full splits. Either way, you're here for six breaths. Now, Hanuman was the first avatar of Vayu, the god of the wind. Final breath. And so we work with Hanuman today to pay honor and respect, plant the foot, release out of that right knee and step it all the way in. Unravel the spine, yogis. Take a roll of the shoulders. One side complete. Let's take that to the other side. Come back to it. My hair is a mess. <laughs> back to connect to your Vayu Mudra. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, pour it forward. Send it to the back of the room. Inhale, we rise. Exhale, pour forwards. This round, yogis, as we inhale to rise, we're going to release and sweep it overhead, connecting and interlacing the hands. And drawing the palms together, we draw to rise, opening the chest, the shoulders, the throat, hanging the head. We inhale, and draw forward, soft knees, soft pelvis, release the interlacing and frame the feet. And this time we step all the way back with the left, sink it nice and low, right hand inside the right foot, and you take a rotation with the left. Left hand sweeps to the back of the room, maybe watching. And say, take it overhead, find your rotation, your extended side angle, one breath. 
And from here, you're drawing that left hand overhead back to the back of the room, light through the right hand as we rise and find your warrior two on the right. Warrior two looking for that deep right angle bend in that right knee. Nice and strong through the left leg, we sink two breaths. Flipping both palms. Draw straight that right leg, rotate on the heel, and finding yourself in your prasarita padottanasana set up with the outer blades of both feet aligned. Sweep overhead, find an interlacing of the hands, and open the chest. Swan dive as you pour forwards, melting at the pelvis. Fingertips meet the mat, and we halfway lift. This time as you exhale and pour down, rather than walk the hands forwards, you're walking the hands beneath you. So you'll externally rotate the shoulders and walk them all the way beyond the mat to whatever feels comfortable for you. Close down the eyes. Hang the head nice and heavy. Hammocking through the low belly. The low back, the pelvis, you can take that little rock over the hips that you did in the first round. We settle in and get out of our heads here, out of the thinking mind, into the feeling body to find balance. The yogis from here, we're sliding the hands back. Take a rotation and set up the heels of the hand in alignment with your heels. In the second round of your tripod headstand, take a deep bend in the elbows, maybe a deep bend in the knees, inviting the crown to the mat. And as you make contact, from here, again, playing with, and we'll just shuffle back a little. I've got the wall right behind me. <laughs> Going to be playing with that weight distribution. Now, you can either draw in for the knees to connect to the elbows, like your crow option, or you can draw straight into your tripod headstand, playing just with a rocking of the load. And you'll notice as you rock forwards and distribute the weight into the crown and into your hands, it's a big game of fear and trust. And you do need to be in your head <laughs> and out of your head at the same time, knowing that our inversions are all about tipping the energy and sending flow back, yet light through the feet, slowly, slowly, maybe taking one foot off at a time or playing with drawing to rise, releasing ever so slowly, only here for two breaths and allowing the feet to reconnect to the mat. Now our counter, walk the hands forwards, Sink back down into that wide-legged down dog style position if you're prasarita for Dottanasana. Let's slowly slide the hands back in, sweeping them once more and directing that flow to the front of the mat. Rotate both feet, sink into the hips back to your runner's lunge. Let's drop into that left knee, release to the top of the left foot and slowly walk it back. Your Ardha Hanumanasan, six rounds here to devote to Hanuman. And you can take a flow and a ripple and a release over that right thigh with single side or experiment and explore your full Hanuman, sliding that right foot forwards, maybe adjusting and taking the left one back. Either way, using the assistance of that connection beneath the fingertips to pour your breath like the wind, rippling over that right thigh. Sixth and final round. Inhale, slowly slide it back if you've made your way to full Hanuman. 
loading into the right foot. Let's tuck the back toes, release and find your lunge. Step it all the way top of the mat, unravel the spine, take a roll of the shoulders and connect back to your Vayu Mudra. Yogis, we're taking an explore, exploration round once more both sides from the beginning. Come back to your Vayu Mudra. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, sink it low, floating back. And when we find our way with these challenging postures, it's so easy to let it ruin the rest of the practice if you find it overwhelming. Inhale, draw to rise, split the hands, release by your mudra. Right hand to the hip, left hand to the sky. Exhale, left fingertips, plant spinal twist, gaze to the sky. Deep bend, left knee. Inhale, rise, find the legs straight, left to the sky. Exhale, let's draw back and collect via mudra and take it two more rounds. Exhale, inhale to rise. And this time we'll head straight in, connecting to your Fingertip to fingertip, palm to palm, interlacing overhead. Inhale, soft knees, draw via that squat into your chest and shoulder release. Exhale, melt it forwards. We go overhead once more. Release the interlacing fingertips to the mat. Step it back with the right. Sinking low into the hips, left hand inside left foot. Rotate that back foot to find the sole connecting. Sweeping right hand beyond the back of the room, overhead. One breath, spinal twist, gazing, extended side angle. Inhale, send it back, light through the left fingertips, draw to rise. Exhale, sink in warrior two. Flip the palms. Straighten left leg, rotate, finding the outer blades aligned. Inhale, flying warrior, connect into lace open. Release the hands, swan dive. Fingertips meet the mat, halfway lift. Walk up forwards. Inhale, sliding the hands back. Final time this side, your tripod headstand. It's two breaths your way. Heel of the hands in alignment with the heel of the foot. Deep bend in the elbows. Top of the head meets the mat. Slowly shuffling forwards with the weight. Maybe the heels come off. Maybe one toe at a time draws to rise. Maybe both. Wherever you are, slowly draw back to release. Inhale, halfway lift. Walk up forwards, take your counter. Well done, yogis, wherever you got to. Let it float through you, wash through you like the wind. Inhale, halfway lift. Float top of the mat, frame the left foot and step it in. Inhale, unravel. Let's take that to the right. Roll the shoulders. Vayu Mudra. Inhale. Exhale, sweep. Inhale, rise. Exhale, release. Send it back of the room. Inhale, open and split the hands. Right forwards, left back. Left hand to the hip, right hand to the sky. Exhale, tilt at the pelvis, deep bend, right knee. Gaze over the shoulder and release that top hand to the sky. Inhale, we rise. Find both legs straight, right hand to the hip. Oh, that's left hand, <laughs> right hand to the sky. Inhale, sweep and collect the left. Connect to your Vayu Mudra. Inhale, release. Floating through with all of the softness, with that energy of Vayu. Exhale, take it to the back body, interlace the hands.
Find the legs extended, palms connected. Inhale, we draw to rise, standing tall. Open the chest, the shoulders, the heart. Tilting forwards at the pelvis, we pour forwards, release that interlacing. Hands to frame the foot, halfway lift. Left foot steps back, sink into your runner's lunge. Let's rotate that left foot and walk the right hand inside the right foot. Left hand sweeps to the back of the room. Send it overhead for your extended side angle. Send it to the back of the room. As you get light through those right fingertips, we rise and drop into your warrior two. Both palms flip. Take it to the sky, feel flying warrior, rotate the right heel, outer blades of both feet aligned with the outer edges of the mat, interlace the hands overhead and gaze to the sky. Let's release that interlacing, swan dive down, <sighs> hands meet the mat halfway lift. Our reverse counter as we exhale and walk the hands through the midline beneath you, behind you, tenting the fingers, hanging the head heavy, hanging the heart heavy. We send the blood via this beautiful floating inversion into the head, draw the hands in, sliding and rotate internally and set the heels of the hands in alignment with your heels. This is it, yogis, through the midline here. <laughs> Final opportunity to get playful with this tripod. Take your time. Soft elbows, connect the crown. Light through the toes. Lift the heels, slowly draw to rise, maybe one foot at a time or both, spreading the fingers wide, loading into the heels of the hand, release the toes wherever you are and reconnect to the mat. We inhale and halfway lift, walk up forwards and hammock through the spine, hang the head. Ah. <sighs> I feel instantly that tingling sensation and the energy, that kinetic energy and through my head. Feels so beautiful. Slide it in, float it to the front and let's close out our flow. Sink it low, your runner's lunge. Step left foot in, unravel the spine. Take a roll of the shoulders. Atarasana. We come back to where we begun. Our Vayu Mudra, index finger to the palm, thumb to wrap, inhale, sweep the sky, exhale, pour forwards, inhale, we rise, find length, find space, exhale, melt it, send it back into your divers, and this time as you inhale to rise. We find that interlacing overhead, release and swan dive. Hands to interlace your final chest and shoulder stretch here as we draw to rise and take the gaze to the sky. Lots of work, yogis, as you pour forwards, shifting the energy, finding movement and motion for the head today. Release the hands, find both fingertips upon the mat. We're going to step it all the way back with the right, sink the hips and take a pause. Step it all the way back with the left, your plank pose. Let's drop the knees, place the hands upon the mat and slowly invite the chest and the heart via an eight point plank to the mat. A ripple through and for the first time oh, your belly connects to the mat. I'll take a moment in sphinx pose so as you draw your elbows forward you want to align the elbows beneath the shoulders. Spread the fingertips wide and draw the chest and collarbones to broaden through the 
the front body and take the chin to open the eyes to the sky. Two breaths in your sphinx. Mm. Let's release down, take the hands back beside you, pressing into your cobra, press into the mat and we're lifting and creating space through the front body, not dumping into the low back. We draw the shoulders to open, we press away from the mat and once more take the gaze to the sky, finding length for the front body. We'll stay pressing into the hands and ripple this all the way back now to a child's pose. Forehead meets the mat, allow the arms to soften, allow the elbows to soften as you come back to catch your breath. Just two rounds here, stay nice and soft. Yogis mm. will slide the hands back to find you at the back of the mat in your hero's pose. From your hero's pose, if you like to stay nice and warm, feel free to grab yourself your jumper, your socks, your blanket now as we're going to be finding a flip placing the hands on the mat, rotating to the back body, extend the legs and find your staff pose. Hands to the sky. We come back to that Vayu Mudra for the last time. Index finger connected to the palm, your thumb creating the seal, remaining three fingers extended. And as you lift out of the spine, lift out of your seat, you're going to round out through the back body, pour forwards and slowly take your time to unravel the spine to the mat. Hands sweep overhead today and take the arms super wide, making sure you have enough room overhead to take the hands wide, making any adjustments you need. Take the heels at least shoulder width apart or even double today. Star type position with the arms, the legs, finding the energy centered at your belly. We're working today through both the upper body, the lower body, all directions of the pranic flow. Our five energetic directions of Vayu. As we breathe in and draw the breath into the body, feel the expansion and feel the lift of your lungs, the lift of your belly, the stimulation around your heart center. As you exhale and send the breath out of the body, as you release that energy, Feel the heaviness, the load, the sluggishness, the weight. Draw back into the mat. Next, inhale, send the breath to the arms and the legs, the extremities. Expanding out. As you exhale, energy pours back into your center. Final conscious breath as you inhale. Send it deep to the low belly. Feel the belly lift. As you exhale, a contraction as the navel draws back to the spine. Release conscious control of the breath. You can stay in your Vayu Mudra or allow that to soften and release that too. With the eyes closed down, we come to the sensations of the skin. The skin is the primary organ of Vayu. Can you feel the air upon your palms, your fingertips? 
your arms, your face, the tops of your feet, your toes, the air and the space between your toes, between your fingers. Without any physical movement, we remain completely still, simply becoming the watcher and noticing the subtle energy, motion, movement. The element air represents the capacity for motion or kinetic energy. Can you feel that motion and the vayu moving through you, around you, as it surrounds you? And yogis, if you have the benefit of time today, Please hit pause and stay in your savasan for as long as you possibly can, remaining as the watcher, noticing and staying connected to the element of Vayu within you. Otherwise, find some movement through the fingers, through the toes and feel that energy. Sense that energy. Feel the coolness upon your skin. Feel the air flowing through your blood and the circulation from your heart, the breath as it passes through your throat. And when you feel ready, draw the knees into the chest ever so slowly and find a roll to your favorite side, finding fetal position as your transition. As you press into the mat and draw to join me in a Sukhasana, an easy cross leg, please keep the eyes closed down and stay with the sensations. Settling back into your Vayu Mudra, if you came out, and the backs of the hands connected to the tops of your legs, your knees. Index finger to the palm, thumb, creating the seal, the mudra, and releasing those remaining three fingers. Without elements, they say, air moves us, fire transforms us, water shapes us, and the earth heals us. As you find this final moment in stillness, connected to your power of Vayu, may you feel moved, gently blink open the eyes, release your Vayu Mudra, find the hands in prayer at heart center, take an inhale, draw the spine to elongate, find length and extend the crown to the sky. As you exhale, we bow the head, we draw the chin into the chest and close out our practice, paying respect and honoring that element of Vayu as Vayu moves me, Vayu moves you, Vayu moves. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.